Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm not going to be doing my makeup with you. My past couple videos have not been, so to say, makeup related, but I have my makeup done, so that counts for something. Lately, I've been kind of doing more so talking videos or I've been talking about things that I find important, topics that I just want to discuss. And today, honestly, I was not feeling like doing a tutorial. I am so sorry for the girls who wanted to know how I did this look. Today, I wanted to sit down and I want to talk about setting boundaries and sticking to them. This is probably something that I myself just recently started to do. For some reason, setting boundaries is something that I just never really knew about or thought of until recently. I made a little list of ways you can set boundaries or why you should set boundaries and hopefully this helps somebody. Today is one of those days where my makeup just wasn't hitting the way I wanted it to. It's not giving what I want it to give and that's okay. I still know it looks good but sometimes I just don't like my face and I don't like myself. Sometimes. Sometimes I need these moments because it really humbles me and it keeps me grounded as a person. I don't know. Lately I've just been in a very self-conscious kind of mood. The way you're going to set a boundary is by figuring out the treatment that you do and you don't like. And for me, if you're like me, that means you have to experience a lot of things. You have to experience being mistreated and you have to experience being a people pleaser and you have to experience being in the wrong and you have to experience getting hurt or betrayed or trauma after trauma because eventually it's going to click in your head and you're going to be like oh i don't like that if you're at a point now like me where you're just like i'm done i give up on everything <laughs> and i don't mean like in a bad way i mean like in a way where it's just like i'm not gonna allow myself to keep being hurt because it is not benefiting me and i know i don't deserve that so if you're at a point like that, the experiences you've went through, although they may hurt and although they may keep you up at night and traumatize you a little bit, you went through them for a reason and don't let it be for no reason. If you're not in a place where you're just blocking out your trauma, blocking out the bad times, and if you're just allowing yourself to live through the shits, that's a good thing, okay? That's something to be proud of because it's not easy. Okay, and I know it might suck when you're going through it, but just look back at all the things that you've went through. Make a list of the things that you don't want to accept going forward. Say if you have encountered people who do not communicate openly or kind of disregard your feelings or do not take you seriously or if you allow people to disrespect you or if you have allowed people to be disrespectful and ignorant and hateful around you and you don't fuck with that or if you don't like that kind of behavior make a little list okay write it down and say this is what i like this is what i don't like okay and the things that you don't like you're going to start to set a boundary for that i'm not going to tolerate that anymore i'm not going to accept that treatment anymore once you've figured out what those boundaries are you need to become a person that you can trust in not just for other people mainly for yourself you need to be able to trust yourself say you want to be loved say you want to be adored by a person and sometimes that feeling can lead us to wanting to accept or tolerate treatment that is below what we deserve below our standards so if you set that boundary you need to stick to it and when you stick to that boundary you will trust yourself more it's going to take a lot of practice and patience because sometimes when you set a boundary it's not that easy to just follow it you're going to have moments where you slip up when you get lonely ladies when you're lonely or when you know we have certain desires sometimes you get that itch that you want to scratch and you're like I can't scratch it personally. I need someone else to do it. And in those moments, sometimes you do desperate shit and you will tell yourself that something is love or loving when it's not. And this is not just relationships. This goes with friendships. This goes with the random people that you meet. This goes with 
strangers, and also with family. When you set a boundary for yourself, you need to stick to it. Let the experiences when you fall back or like say in those times of need when you reach out to people who have mistreated you or broke your boundaries before or overstepped your boundaries before. So if you go back to those people, you reach out to them, that's okay. All right. Like we all have our shit. Allow that experience to be what makes you recommit to yourself. When I talk in these videos, I'm always talking to myself really because honestly, I don't know who's watching these videos. So you guys probably already know this stuff. You guys probably already have this common sense. And if you don't, that's okay because we're on this boat together. We're exploring this ocean together. We're exploring self-love and self-respect together. And sometimes you need to start from literally like negative 100. Sometimes you literally are below ground level. It's all learning and it's all growing. And sometimes growing is not just upwards, okay? Sometimes you go sideways or sometimes you go into the dirt. Either way, it's all about the experiences you go through. Allow yourself to experience those things. And if it hurts, and if it's not a good experience, or if you say it's not a good experience, you feel like it's not a good experience, then use that to create better ones in the future. Learn from them. Now, don't hold all these things with you. You know, learn from what you go through, heal from it the best that you can, and move forward. Your safety and your comfort and your happiness and your peace should be your main priority. Now I know when you are a caring person, when you are a loving person, when you have not experienced that reciprocated to you, whether it be in your childhood or any part of your life, and you just want to care and give to all the people around you, especially the people who are like hurt and fucked up, you need to take care of yourself first. You need to make sure you're good first before you can turn to someone else and make sure they're good. You need to be able to function on your own, be at least somewhat healed or he work on your healing before you can worry about another person's. Because sometimes we use another person's trauma or pain as a way to cover up our own or to not have to focus on our own. I do that a lot and I don't do it intentionally. Once you become aware of it, you'll notice like, okay, I am doing this intentionally. Like I love when people have problems because then I can just not focus on my own. That leads for me to be completely like empty. So you need to make sure that your cup is full before you can go and fill another person's cup. I'm all for reciprocating love, showing love, giving loving energy and being a caring person and caring for others. But at the end of the day, being that type of person has made me realize I'm not really caring for myself and I'm not really putting myself first. And that is not a good thing, okay? Like that's not cute. You need to care for yourself because when you don't, then you're expecting someone to just come around and heal you or fix you and that's never gonna happen like some people are fortunate enough to find someone who helps them through a lot of things but if you're going through things alone baby you gotta be able to get yourself through it you can't fix others you gotta let them want to better themselves while you focus on bettering yourself it's not about what someone is or is not doing for themselves it's about what you are not doing for yourself or what you're doing to yourself that is causing you pain and causing you trauma no one deserves to go through that and i know it's hard when that's sometimes all you know but we're gonna change that, right? We're gonna change that about ourselves. We're not gonna just be traumatized little bitches anymore. We are going to be people who are happy whether there's someone in your life or not. Learn how to separate yourself from the people who do not live up to your standards or who do not respect your boundaries. You need to learn how to separate from the people who do not match your energy and that can be hard because sometimes it's family, sometimes it's people you knew your whole entire life. But once you kind of have that realization that your boundaries are not being held with respect, take a step back. 
All right, let them figure out their own shit. Let them be on their own for a little while. Let them be without you for a little while. One, they're gonna realize, oh, I fucked over a really good person. Or they're never gonna have that realization because they're not on your level and you just gotta let them be, okay? Because some people just genuinely don't care about anything other than themselves and a lot of the time trauma does that to people and it's no shame to them but you can't let yourself be getting hurt or mistreated or misused for another person you don't have to be mean about it sometimes you don't even have to say anything about it you do not owe anyone an explanation for the reasons why you don't want to have them in your life anymore realistically because a lot of the time People are not conscious of their actions, but we are all in control of the things that we do and the things that we say, and people don't take enough accountability for that. If you're not gonna be a conscious person while I am, I don't need you around. I don't need that energy around me. And it's no disrespect, it's just we're on two different planets right now. Set a limit on how much access people have to you. We can say hi to each other, we can have small talk, we can talk, we can have conversation. That's as far as it's gonna go. I'm not gonna tell you my achievements, I'm not gonna tell you my personal feelings, I'm not gonna tell you, I'm not gonna let you in to a certain level because you don't respect it. And sometimes that means cutting complete access. Trust your gut and your heart or your intuition, whatever it may be. Trust in yourself. If you get that feeling like, oh, like maybe I shouldn't be with this person or maybe I shouldn't be doing this or maybe like this is too much for me, trust that. All right, trust your inner voice. Say you have someone in your life that you really care about, but they just don't live in alignment with what you're looking for or what you want to achieve with your life or the type of person that you want to be. If you stay around those people, it says more about who you are than who they are, right? Because people have sometimes really ugly colors and it's hard to see it at first. But when you start to see those true colors, baby, and if you stick around, you can't get mad at them because they showed you who they are. You know who they are. But if you stick around people who are just genuinely like do not align with you and what you believe in and what you practice in your life, just step away. Walk away. Don't let other people make you feel bad for choosing what's best for you. Who cares what they think at the end of the day? Like I know we care, but <laughs> pretend you don't. Just for a little bit. Eventually, you won't care. Learn how to be content on your own. Learn how to be okay with not being chosen or not being someone's favorite or not being someone's first choice. Learn how to be content by yourself. Once you've mastered being on your own, once you've mastered loneliness, babe, there ain't shit you can't do. Because so many people are in this world so afraid to be by themselves that they allow the worst treatment. And we pray for those people. We want the best for those people. But you are not that person, okay? You are not going to allow people to walk all over you or to mistreat you or to talk down to you or any of those things. Maybe you have in the past. Maybe you will sometimes in the future. But you're going to always get back up and you're always going to choose yourself you have to learn how to be all right with not having someone around sometimes that means friends that means family that means support that means a relationship like sometimes you are not going to have the support that you deserve and if that's the case like if people are not showing you the same support that you are always giving out and you don't want to tolerate that anymore it's okay to walk away. It's okay to not have relationships with those people anymore. It's okay to step the fuck back and be like, no, you're not matching my energy and I deserve someone who does. I deserve people who do. So toodaloo, adios. You gotta hold yourself to the same standards that you will hold other people to, okay? So say if you don't want someone in your life who's gonna dog you out, then you can't be out here dogging out other people unless unless they dog you out first of course honestly like sometimes like you can't allow people to just walk all over you my favorite way of getting back at people who mistreat you is just by taking away the comfort that comes with 
the beauty that you are. So say if you're a very caring and loving person, the love and the energy that you bring to the table, say if someone mistreats that, say if someone just does not respect you or they just want to play games with your baby, you take that blanket away. You take it away from them. I learned that from Leo Skeppy and it changed my life. It really did. Sometimes I do a little too much, but they'll be all right. They'll survive. Don't fuck with me. Because I'm not nice. I know I'm nice, but I'm not always nice. That's not just who I am. I'm not just a nice person. And sometimes I have tolerated a lot of crap, but that doesn't mean I'm always going to, babe. One of these days, there's going to be a switch that you don't like. And that's just how it is. I'm sorry. And I need to work on myself a lot, too, but... Whatever. The energy you put out is the energy that you will receive at the end of the day. So make sure you're giving out good energy, right? Like make sure you're being a good person, a kind person. If you're not a kind person, don't expect kindness back or don't cry when you're mistreated, okay? Like be a kind person. Sometimes you got to dig deep and figure out where your wrongs are so that you can better yourself. It's not about what other people do. It's about what you do the treatment you allow to yourself and the treatment you give out, okay? And sometimes you're a nice person. Sometimes you go above and beyond for people and that is not reciprocated and that's okay. That's just gonna teach you to not do that as much anymore. It's okay to go above for people. It's okay to go beyond for people. But if they don't respect it and if they don't respect you, stop doing it. Stop fucking doing it. Let those people be on their own. Let them figure it out themselves. Let them live life on their own with their own people with the people that they choose to be around them you don't have to get yourself hurt for other people don't do it don't do it if you want to be someone who is a light in other people's lives don't let people bring you down to their level okay because a lot of the time people are just hurt they want to see you down like that they want you to be at their level too like some people are just genuinely not happy in their lives or with themselves so they want to bring a happy person or a, a very loving and caring person down to their level to prove to themselves that yeah like <laughs> this person really didn't care about me or like this person really is an asshole like just to prove to themselves something and you don't need to do that you don't need to go through that speak up for yourself and if they didn't get the message when you speak up for yourself you don't owe that person any more explanation like i mean speak up for yourself like say hey i don't like this and if they don't change or if they don't make a difference or if there's no difference leave let them be say it once if you want to give them a second try if you want to give them a third that's up to you speak up for yourself at least once let someone know what bothers you or what doesn't sit right with you at least once in your life like Give yourself that. Say, hey, I tried. I told you how I felt. And if they don't respect you on that, <laughs> it's on them. Don't let yourself be unhappy to make another person happy. Yeah, life is sure and we want to bring love and spread love. But if you're getting hurt in return, it's not worth it. I'm going to tell you right now, it is not worth it. Sometimes that's all you know or sometimes that's all you feel like you have. And let me tell you, like I said earlier, learn how to be content by yourself because once you learn to love your own company, you're not going to tolerate people who do not treat you right. Like you're not going to accept that kind of treatment. You're not going to allow people who don't respect you and don't respect other people and don't respect other lives around you for that long. You're going to eventually get to a point where you're like, you know what? Be on your own. Swim away, little fish. I care about people even if they have different views than me and my thing is i respect people's opinions and i respect people's views but the second that it becomes hateful i just don't have room in my heart for blind hatred i don't have room in my heart for hatred or hate because i'm already full of hate i'm already full of dread and spite so it's like that's something i try to maintain and manage and i just don't have it in me to tolerate people who live their lives so openly hateful and i'm talking about people who are transphobes homophobic racist it's not cute it's it's not all right that is not something that 
is like a badge of honor. Let people live their lives. That is all I have to say today. I hope that this video finds you well. I hope that this video helps somebody out there. Sometimes you have to play the villain in other people's lives to find your own happiness. Let yourself be the villain because most likely those people are narcissists. I really enjoyed sitting down and talking with you guys today. I'm going to make more sit down talking videos because sometimes I just don't feel like filming a whole three, four hour process of me doing my makeup. I want to give you guys more range and more options of to like what to watch and not have to just do tutorials all the time because sometimes I'm, I'm not just a makeup artist, okay? I'm not just a girl who plays makeup. Sometimes I'm playing with plants and sometimes I'm, I'm sitting down and self-loathing like today. If you like this video and you want to see more videos like this, if there's anything you guys would like me to talk about, leave a little comment down below, like this video, and share it with someone you love or share it with someone who needs to also hear these words. If you would like to, please subscribe to my channel. I love you guys so, so much. And I really appreciate you guys for sticking around and watching my videos. I appreciate the people who come back. Brie, I love you. The people who come back religiously and watch all my videos every week, you are so cute, you are so hot, and you deserve the world. And one day, I'm going to give you the world. I don't know how, but I'm going to. I will see you in whatever video I make next. Hopefully, it'll be a makeup tutorial. Or maybe it won't be. Bye.